Hi everyone, welcome to a new video, new uh, high game of the week. Today we're going to see a game between Euclid and Indastas um, of the Fair Play Cup Round 3. Um, Euclid is part of the team Guardian of the Beetle Gates uh, and uh, Indastas is part of the Hungarian Hive Club. Um, I think it's quite a cool game, it's very tactical, short, but uh, it shows very well the power of the X-Trap and how to steal tempo. Um, in the opening variation that I played myself against Euclid, and um, um, it, it's a kind of a bit uh, counterintuitive, but um, but it, it's it's really interesting, and I think um, it will be seen more and more often. So um, let's start. So white goes with the pill bag, and black responds with ladybug. Um, white plays the queen in line which is known for being quite an aggressive choice. Um, I can't explain right now, maybe I'll do another video, but um, there are some ideas in the shape of the hive that are possible when you play the queen in line. And so this is what is called J configuration, when the white queen is in line and the black queen is on the flank. Um, but we don't have time to go into that right now. The important thing is, um, so both players play um, and a mosquito combo, right? Uh, which is very typical. A bit of light here. Um, which is very typical, right? To both attack and defend. Um, white goes with a quick attack. And now uh, black plays the move that characterizes this opening variation, which is the mosquito jumps here, which seems a bit, again, counterintuitive. Um, why would mosquitoes go here? I'll explain in a second. Normally you would play uh, maybe a hand here, right? Just increase your mobility, more ants here ready to defend and to pin uh, beetles when they come down, right? Um, this move um, is very interesting. Um, the main reason is to place an X trap uh, on this side. So uh, let's say, well, the game, uh, the game went in a different way, but let's assume white just plays another ant, right? The idea is place pillbug here, which is a proximity pillbug. Proximity pillbug is a pillbug that um, can control two of your own kill spots, and so it can move away some attackers from there. And at the same time, it creates an X trap. The X trap is this structure, this almost ring, where um, and that make make sure that whenever white uh, uh, takes one of these kill spots, let's say this one, he creates a ring which releases some of your pieces. In this case, the ladybug is not free, but you normally expect the ladybug to jump around and maybe attack at the same time. In this case, even this move would be good, right? So white um, needs to be more careful um, and needs to decide the order of the kill spot uh, more thoroughly than normal, right? And if the ladybug can get out, you can defend and attack at the same time. So that's the main idea. At the same time, the mosquito has also the power of two pillbugs next to each other, which means that at some point, something like this might become actually um, an interesting option and very dangerous for white, right? You just warp the white queen into this trouble pit. Um, so, let's see how actually the game went. Um, so, Euclid has played this variation against me, so he knows very well what was coming. And he tried to play um, a different variation that uh, denies black to play this um, this hex trap. And basically try to complicate the game a bit. Uh, we'll see that it won't work very well, but it was worth trying. Um, has um, I have experience with this opening for black and it actually worked quite well a few times. So um, black plays, an, uh, plays a new ant here. The idea is not only to increase the mobility but also to self-pin the mosquito here. If you place the ant somewhere else then um, the white mosquito or the white pill bug would be able to warp the mosquito away. But we, we said we need the mosquito here, we like the mosquito here as black so we try to um, keep it as uh, uh, as long as possible in this place. So black ant here. So the game went on with this. White goes for beetle attack. 
of course this can be pinned but the idea is not uh, for the beetle to go up but uh, you sacrifice a beetle in order to convert your mosquito into a beetle which is a typical um, attacking uh, technique the problem in this case is that the mosquito moves for the second time so you're actually wasting time tempo what we call tempo wasting an extra move and now you actually allow the x trap to happen right the mosquito here was preventing black from creating the x trap now black can again which will be crucial as you'll see um, in the game so um let's go on white decide to move the queen away which is another waste of tempo another waste of move um the reason was mainly um what we said before so the, the white um, 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 queen could have been warped in here at some point um which makes it quite dangerous position for white um so white just decided to move the oops white decided to move the queen away um it's probably not the best move it probably should have um embraced the risk <laughs> um rather than wasting a move but we will we know that now in hindsight but it's not easy to understand what's going on during the game he probably wanted to avoid any confusing or complicated variation right here it doesn't seem that black is counter-attacking any soon right white is gonna attack but we'll see that things are not exactly in this way so uh oops so black goes here okay oops what happened to uh what happened to the game wait a second no 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 this here okay the game went on um oops what happened <laughs> okay sorry um let me let me re re um load this okay so black um keeps attacking like it try it starts the counter attack as we said black seems a bit behind but we'll see that that's not the case um because of the extra that is in place white um goes on and prepares a direct drop here so we can place one of the pieces from the hand directly here which normally save you some time uh, but in in this case we'll see it's not enough because you have to move the mosquito on top uh in order to do that and there are no other direct drops uh around this is another actually advantage of the pillback right the pillback controls this part northwest of the queen um and uh um and it prevents the direct drop here and we will see that mm, black has not the same problem okay on the other side on the other hand black um once placed the beetle here as actually two uh, direct drops on both sides why white actually moved an ant out uh, of the attacking position to go here to understand this we need to calculate the tempo okay so the number of moves we need to surround um, the opponent queen if you look at this for white you need two moves so placing and a kill spot here okay and then another two moves a new place a new piece and then kill spot here plus going down with mosquito finally right so five moves in total um black instead needs one move to cover the queen and then two and three for the two direct drops any piece from here will work and then and then it gets four with an ant going into this kill spot and next to the pill bug and then beetle will finally go down so again five moves um but let's have a look at the actual what actually ha would happen if both players just go for the attack this will happen white keeps attacking black as well let's assume white who's a grasshopper here after this since white is winning but the x trap now works now it's in play it's actually working so the ladybug can escape and so defend he 
um, empties the kill spot and at the same time attacks on the opponent's kill spot. And now is suddenly black is winning. Okay, this is the reason why white has to go back, cannot just attack blindly, but it needs to um, it needs to balance attack and defense. So it decides to pin the ladybug on this what's called bidirectional pin, which means that whenever um, black uh, sorry whenever uh, white creates a ring here. The X trap doesn't work anymore because the ladybug could not escape anymore. Okay, um, we'll see that actually is not enough to uh, re-establish White's advantage, but um, it was worth trying. Uh, probably here there is another inaccuracy by White. White decided to get the right drop here, but he could have instead placed a piece here. With the idea of denying that drop for black here okay if you look at it it's basically the same symmetric x trap that black has in place on the other side okay of course a white grasshopper is not the best proximity piece uh, the proximity pillbug is more useful but the idea to deny uh, this direct drop is there mm, the other reason why this uh, sort of x trap is not as good as for um as the black one is the following so let's assume black um, 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 so let's, let's assume uh, yeah black keeps attacking here and creates this and, and activates the x-trap okay the main idea of the x-trap for black was to get the ladybug out and attack at the same time for white, the same idea, the symmetric idea, would be to free the pillbug. The problem is the pillbug cannot jump away. So the X trap doesn't work as well. The only thing that white can do is just to move the ant away. Okay. So uh, the X trap is good to deny direct drop here, but it doesn't really work as an X trap because the pillbug cannot jump out. It's not as good. Of course, in, right now the ladybug cannot jump out either because of the bidirectional pin. Um, but in some situation, um, in the best situation for black, he will be able to, and that will make the difference in the game. But white decides not to play this extra here, okay, and just goes on with the attack, which I think was uh, not uh, optimal. But let's see how it goes. Black decides to put a piece here before white changes their mind, right, and plays a piece here, and another piece here to to prevent this. And White, of course, has realized that um, Tempo is not in his favor, so uh, instead of keep attacking, just creates to complicate the game, putting Mosquito down with the idea of warping one of these pieces into a kill spot. In, in principle, if you place one of the... if you warp one of these pieces here, and then you go on with the attack with the Ant, it seems White is winning. But there are a few problems. <laughs> the first one is that um, actually, the mosquito itself can be warped away by the pillbug. That is what is happening in the, what happened in the game. Okay. At the same time, the mosquito next to the, um, the black queen, which has been warped by white itself, is actually a defense, a good defensive piece. Because now, uh, even if white decides to keep attacking, which doesn't make much sense, but if they do, um, then the black queen would just be warped away by the mosquito, right? Um, so, effectively now, black is winning in two moves, and white is nowhere near to win. In the game, this is what happened, white just tried to create another ring to free the pillbug, but black simply covered the pillbug, and then uh, there's basically nothing to do for white. Black plays in the last hopper, and then the last kill spot is taken by the beetle. So I think this game shows very well the power of the of the X-Trap. It's very short, but it shows that you can change your tempo advantage with literally one single move on one little idea. Um, and so you have to calculate very well um, tempo before going into the attack. Sometimes it's better to... well, many times it's better to... Um, 
play something else and try to control the opponent pieces before going straight into the attack or play some extra or some other technique that will allow you to get a tempo advantage to steal tempo as judoka explained in his book hope you liked it you enjoyed it um it was short but fun and um subscribe to the channel and see you next week for the next video